We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to boot into safe mode in a couple of different ways. So uh, one way to do that is to just go ahead and type at the search box msconfig, Microsoft Configuration Tool. And go ahead and click on System Configuration. And from here, we're going to go to the Boot tab. And we're going to tell it to go to safe boot. Now you've got a couple of different options. I like to do the network one so that way you can also be on the internet as well. Unless, of course, your NIC drivers are the ones that are causing problems. Uh, you can also choose some other things. No GUI boot, which basically is just a command prompt. Uh, you've got boot log, base video, which if you've got video issues, that's a good way to go. Um, so OS boot information. So different things like that. Of course, if you're running an Active Directory domain controller, you'll choose Active Directory repair. But typically, you're either going to choose safe boot, boot uh, minimal or network. And when you're done, you click OK or apply. And then on the next boot, it will boot into that. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to choose another way to do that. And that's going to be the... Um, shift plus f8 option so let's go ahead and restart and we'll get in that that direction here too so i'll, I'll uh, fast forward during the rebooting part so go to shutdown or sign out choose restart all right so we're back at the startup screen so if shift plus f8 doesn't work during reboot another way to do this is to uh, press the power button on the login screen and press and hold the shift key on the keyboard and hit restart and now it'll give you an option that you wouldn't normally see so you want to go ahead and choose uh, troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and then it'll give you all these different options upon restart one of those will be safe mode. So we hit restart and we should see these options here. And just one, there it is. So we can press F10 for more options or we can press any one of these numbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, press number four. Now, safe mode does take significantly longer to uh, boot into. So don't worry if you see a black screen for a little while. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. You see my video is set to uh, much different graphics. And now we see safe mode in the upper corner, all the different corners, all four corners. And now we can do whatever it is we need to do in safe mode in order to fix problems. So that's uh, multiple different ways to boot into safe mode in Microsoft Windows 10.